it's time that we bring in Francis Ngannou's longtime trainer, Dewey Cooper. Dewey, you've lost the element of surprise, as it were. Have you done anything different in this camp than you did uh, for your fight against Tyson Fury? Uh, first of all, I'd like to say salam alaikum to your ecstasy, Turkey Ali Sheikh, and the kind, beautiful people here in Saudi Arabia. Happy Eid Mubarak as you embark into your Ramadan uh, in a few days. Fighting Tyson Fury, his first fight, was a magnificent challenge. Very complex, highly dimensional boxer. He assimilated so much information from that fight. Of course he's ready for two nights away from now. Of course he's ready for Anthony Joshua. Of course he's going to show vast improvements in every aspect. Speed, power, conditioning, fight IQ. So just expect an exemplary performance from Francis Ngannou on March 8th. The flaming, ferocious fist of Francis will finish Anthony Joshua. There we go. My, my next question was, do you really believe that your man can stop Anthony Joshua? I think you've answered it just then. I just said it. The flaming, ferocious, furious fist of Francis will, in fact, finish Joshua. There we go. I couldn't say it <laughs> better myself. Now, Eddie, and previously, at the, at, at, the, at the very start of all this, was, was critical of Francis's boxing credentials before he saw him fight. Now, how much extra satisfaction would that be winning on Friday? Uh, every That's fight. Usury. Every fight, important um, in this process to try and regain the World Heavyweight Championship is what he wants to do. This is a fight that came out of nowhere. Francis, throughout his achievements in mixed martial arts, earned the right to step up on the big stage. Thought he performed excellently against Tyson Fury and earned the right to fight any heavyweight in the world. I mean, it's quite remarkable that on his professional debut, he fought Tyson Fury, and in his second fight, he's fighting Anthony Joshua. Um, you know, it's, it's a remarkable run as a, as a fighter, um, and it's a real challenge. But as I said, I don't see any aspect that Francis is better than Anthony in. However, he's strong, he's powerful, and he's dangerous. So... Ben and Lee will keep AJ disciplined, and he'll do what he does, and that's perform. And I think this is the best Anthony Joshua we've ever seen in his career. The sharpest he's been, the most confident he's been, the calmest he's been, and he's done it all in his career. He's fought all styles. Um, you know, he's, he's boxed everywhere under all conditions. Madison Square Garden, Wembley Stadium, Millennium Stadium, all around Britain. Twice in, in Riyadh now, three times in Riyadh, once in Jeddah. I mean, there isn't any moment any style he hasn't experienced in his sport. He's now an experienced fighter, and that will be the difference on Friday night. But we respect these guys. They're real. And AJ knows that as well, and he's trained accordingly and, and ready to show the world that, as I said, I believe he's the best heavyweight on the planet. It's time to bring in Ben Davison, trainer of Anthony Joshua. Now, it feels like you guys, Ben, have, have really gelled over the past few months. Uh, it seems like that everything you do seems to be working. Uh, how has it been working with him on a day-to-day -day basis? You see him, you know, in the nuts and bolts, the grind day-to-day -day in the gym. Yeah, it's a pleasure to work with. He's the ultimate professional. Um, and he loves, he loves boxing. So, obviously, that, that drives us. We're passionate about boxing. He's passionate about boxing. And um, it makes for an enjoyable, enjoyable partnership. Now, there's been talk this week in the build-up of resilience uh, and a little bit about heart. I mean, you see him every single day. How would you respond to those critics? We're going to find out on Friday. <laughs> a man, a few words. I like it. It's, it's, it's strong words as well. Now, you've spoken about this 10-round fight and Ngannou potentially struggling to fight at that pace. Is that, is that the key? Is it push the pace, tire him out and hurt him late? I just think, you know, there's probably a false sense of confidence taken from the, the previous fight that he had. I think it's going to be a completely different situation. We've prepared for him um, respectfully, professionally, and I think, um, you know, same as everybody. Nobody knew what to expect last time. Nobody knew, you know, everybody, being honest, was slightly dismissive. Now we know that's not the case. Um, and I think, I think, you know, yes, you can say there was a lot of experience to have taken last time, but I still think it's going to be a whole new experience. Do you feel like I asked Dewey about losing the element of surprise? Do you feel like that's a... Uh... I guess a confidence booster, a, a bonus that you've now seen 12 rounds 
of Francis Ngannou in a boxing ring to study? Yeah, to a degree, but I think Drew is an experienced coach, and I think that to think that he's only got one layer to his game would, would again be underestimating him, and we've not done that. So um, we're prepared for him to, to have some new layers to his game. Um, and again, we're going to find out on Friday, but we're very well prepared. No doubt. Thanks for your time. Now it's time to bring in Anthony Joshua, former two-time heavyweight champion of the world. Anthony, we just heard from Ben. How has it been being back in camp with, with, with Ben? It feels like you, you two have got a real good bond. You two, you two get each other. God is good. Life is good. No complaining. Had a f about 10 days off, get straight back to basics, get back on the grind. God is good. We're happy. Now, you're coming off the back of a, an incredible performance uh, in December. What can we expect to see come Friday night? Come on, give All us a little revealed. bit of an insight into, into what's going through that Monday. All be revealed, isn't it? Just straight up war, relentlessness, good fight. And uh, that's, what, that's what everyone's here for, good fight. So, yeah, stay tuned if you're here. I appreciate everyone coming out. Much appreciated. His Excellency as well for putting the show on. And if you're at home, you know the score. Make sure you get it live on pay-per-view. <laughs> <laughs> Always got to get the pitch in, no doubt. Oh, yeah, I'm getting paid for this, bro. He's got pay-per-view points, I can tell. Uh, <laughs> there's obviously an, in, an incredible yeah. incentive for, this, for the winner of this fight. It's We're not looking past this fight. This is my main focus. Um, yeah, so the incentives and all that stuff, there's just to win. That's it. Let's focus on my, on my game plan and what I've got to do. You know what, that makes sense. <laughs> I, I, was hoping, I was hoping you'd give me, you'd give me a little juicy gossip. We need, we need a clip. <laughs> we need something. Let me see, let me see, let me see. He said he's got, he's got, he's got AJ's earpods. Everyone's asking what, what is playing what is in AJ's left earpod. What's on the playlist? Uh, let me see. Let me see what I've got for you people, yeah? Come on, this is, this is the question we all wanted answered. <laughs> all right, listen to what we've got, right? You want to hear something? I don't know. I'll listen. You ready? <laughs> and he's actually connected now. <laughs> You got some lyrics. You got some old school garage going on there. You know, is that what's going on in camp? Is that is that the mood? Is that the vibe? That the energy? Just music, music, music. I don't know why there's a big conspiracy of what I listen to on my airport. I don't know what the big deal is. Francis thought he sold it. Have you seen the Instagram video that Francis put up about what's going on, what's playing in your your earpod? No, what's he got playing on? What's, what you better ask him. I don't know. I was just listening. I found your airport and I was just <laughs> listening, and it was playing a lot of uh, different no, stuff. All good. All good. All good. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So back to the fight business. How do you prepare for someone like Francis Ngannou? We said you've seen 12 rounds of him. I've seen interviews where you say you've studied him in the cage, his stand-up. Yeah, yeah. But it's, it's different than fighting a, your, your average boxer. Well, he's been boxing. His first dream was to be a boxer, which people forget. And he was part of the Cameroonian team. He started MMA, I think, was it 24 or 26? So that wasn't the first time he started hitting the heavy bag or hitting pads. He had been doing it from a young age. His dream was always to be a boxer, so I'm, I know what I'm up against. You know, I look at all these uh, small details, but I spar, I do my film study, all that type of stuff. I keep it professional, but on the nights, on the night, that's different. All that textbook stuff goes out the window, um, and you just got to be relentless. Give it your best. It's already written in the stars what's going to happen. I'm just going to follow my destiny. Do you ever feel that pressure to give always? The, 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 to give one, one, number one, perform. Obviously, everyone expects Always. a certain level of you. But Always. also to give the boxing fans, not just British boxing fans, yep. boxing fans, the fight they want. Obviously, there's a man over here. Yep. I know we're not talking about... But yep. you win, and that's the end goal. It's but my of duty. Of course, it means... Yeah, it's our duty to do what we've got to do. It's our duty to... We work for these people out here, do you know what I mean? These are the fights that they want to see. We're here to entertain them, so I feel the pressure. But that's the life. That's what I signed up to do. This is what I've devoted my life to do. So bring every challenge, every competition, and um, I'll step up to the plate. You know, I've been in the ring with Zhang. We've shared a ring before. I've shared the ring with Park Kong. We're going to share the ring with uh, Francis. One day I'll share the ring with Tyson. The last fight, I shared the ring with Wallin. Um, I signed to fight Baby Miller. I sparred Dubois. I'd been in with, I signed to fight Bronze Bomber. I'm serious about the game, innit? This is just what we do. It's my duty to work for these guys and give them entertaining nights. That's true. I mean, Eddie said you, you've seen every look in your time in, in, in boxing. Now, yeah. One look maybe that you haven't seen is obviously Francis That's coming right. at you in the ring. He says he plans to knock you out. Go. Let's go. He's, he's looking for that shot. Let's go. Are you fighting fire with fire? 100 percent Let's go. All right, this is this, this The is best man will always out. win. It's not it's not rocket science, as my boy Cena says. The best man will always win. 
Um, you know, it's not rocket science, isn't it? The best man will always win. But one of the main things I'm looking forward to is showing how good I am. And I think you've said before in interviews that people underestimate you. They maybe Definitely. don't give you the credit. You no, deserve. not the credit. I don't want the credit, but... You just want them to look at you and go, yeah, this, 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 this guy comes... No, I don't know. I don't know, but I just know. People find out when they're in the ring, innit? But we'll see. Friday will soon come. You're looking Friday to will show soon go. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to the occasion. No doubt about it. Now, or do I? Let's go. Let's go. Have you got any, have you got any final words... Now for, just for each other, you, because I know we've had, we've had, it's, all, it's all been quite, nah. quite nice in the build-up. I was going to ask, is there any questions that anyone wants to ask? Because I know you guys have been sitting quietly. Is there any questions from the public? Anyone wants to ask any questions before we wrap up? Big Boss at the top. Yes, Africa's on the map. My next-door neighbour, Cameroon. I see you all up there. <laughs> Flags, everyone's looking amazing. Where's Let's go. Yes, 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 yes. That'll be good. It's going to be a good night. Any final words for Francis and Garn? You can keep the airport. <laughs> <laughs> keep the airport. Thank you, truly. Up. Keep the playlist. Yeah. Francis, final words for Anthony Joshua, the man that you're going to go face to face with Friday night. Well, good luck on Friday night. Respect. I'll see you there. Let's go. There we go, guys. That is all we have time for. Thank you very much. Any final words? I'm going to give you, Frank, Eddie, the last word here in this press conference. Um, Look, it's going to be a marvellous night. Wherever you're watching the fight, you know, don't blink. It's going to be a great main event, and obviously all the undercard, as we said, are fabulous fights. And I also want to just give a mention to George Warren and Spencer Brown for all the work they've also done behind the scenes to make this such a success. 